Hey guys, Grant here from dropshipsocial.com. Today I'm going to talk about five features to improve conversions on your website. Let's dive in. Alright, a lot of these website features you may have heard of already, they're nothing new, but I just want to reinforce the fact that they work. Okay, so number one is having a header strip, and that is the above the navigation, you'll have a strip at the top of your website. Uh, some people make it a, a nice bright color, a red color, a green color, or whatever it might be. Mine's black on my website, but um, the purpose of it is to put in your details, your contact details, your phone number, email, and usually some sort of an offer. Uh, at the moment, I've got um, a free shipping Australia wide at the top, so people, as soon as they get on my website, they know that when they order something, it's not going to cost them anything. So that's one thing. Also, you want to have your shipping and returns policy easy to find. I usually put it in my top bar navigation so that at any point people can access it. People, if they've ordered something online, one of their first questions is when am I going to get it? So you want to make sure that that is very, very clear and easily accessible. So as, as I said, in the top navigation is a good spot for it. Uh, next is payment icons. You want to make sure that they are clear and visible on multiple places in your website definitely on the product page but also on the home page as well and that just shows that you accept credit cards obviously the, the vast majority of people pay online with credit cards so they want to make sure that uh, you've got that there visible too i always want to have something that creates urgency on my website as drop shippers our margins usually you know they're not that great to work with by offering sales we don't you don't get the opportunity to give really big discounts to get people in Sure, you can give a discount here and there, and that, that does create urgency. But I like to use other tools, like uh, like on the booster theme that I use. There's a, a progress progress bar on the product page, and it says how many have left. And you know you can make change the color over that progress bar, saying hurry, um, sorry to a red or a green or whatever you might want it to be. And you can put a, a a little title above it saying hurry, I've only got this amount left, and the progress bar is getting low. And uh, also I can add a, a timer, uh, countdown timer. And, this 5% sale ends in X amount of time, creates urgency. Last but not least, very, very, very simple, but people overlook it. You need to have very easy and simple navigation. On the booster theme, again, I have a navigation at the top, and then there's a drop down uh, for the catalog or whatever you, want, whatever you might want to name it, might be store or shop. You have all your navigation, then a drop down, and it opens up the uh, big mega menu which has then very very easy to navigate lists of the collections simple to use it's not intrusive because it's only one little navigation bar with the drop down so keep it very simple but make sure people can navigate it easily okay guys that's it for today give us a thumbs up if you like the video obviously subscribe if you haven't already and uh, don't forget to head over to dropshipsocial.com and join our conversation there